All right, I've entered all the data and now being prompted for the ninth value for x, but there's only eight values, so I'm done. So at this point, I want to press the stat var key, which is right here, and it has made my calculations. So just like before, I get my n, my size of my sample, which is 8. If I wanted uh, the mean of the x values, it would tell me that. It says it's uh, 1016.25, but I really don't need that. It also tells me standard deviation and so forth. However, what I'm interested in is the r value. So what I'm going to do, instead of going to the right by pressing the right arrow key, I'm going to go to the left, at, which will take me back to the end of all the values and move it right there. As you can see, there is an R, and this is my R value. I'm going to round this to three decimal places. It's 0.874. All right. Point 0.874. Well, notice that my value is larger than my threshold value from the table. Therefore, we can say there is a strong or significant linear correlation between the number of times that a cricket chirps in a minute and the current temperature. There really is. It's not just an old wives' tale. Now, if there is a significant linear correlation, then we should be able to go one step further. We should be able to come up with what's known as the linear regression equation. There, that is, we should be able to come up with a, a formula, an equation, that tells me how to map a number of chirps to the temperature and be fairly close. The fact that there is a significant linear correlation means I should be able to do this mapping. And this mapping is a linear mapping, and that's why, in general, we use y equals mx plus b. Now that's what you should be familiar with from algebra class, and we're going to modify this just a hair. For linear correlation, we use something very similar to that, but here's how we change it. Instead of using y, we use y hat, where y hat is the value we're trying to predict. In this case, it's the temperature. x is going to be the input, that is, the number of chirps per, per minute. A and B are going to be the actual constants that we're going to replace A with and B with to have, have an actual real equation. And A and B are values that are in our calculator right now. So, let's find them. Let's go back to the calculator. Here it is. Once again, I'm going to press the stat var key. There are my values, but again, I'm going to go to the left, to the end of the list of all the values. And as you see right there, right beside R, are A and B values. This A and B are the A and B that go in this formula to give me my linear regression equation. And we'll round this a little bit. Uh, this is 0 0.052. Let's call this 0 0.052 for A. 0 0.052. And, and B, I'll go to the right to get the B value, it says it's 27.63, okay? Rounding that to do decimal places, 27.63. All right, those are my A, B values. What do I do with them? Well, I simply use those as the constants in this equation. So, let me write it here. Skipping down here, and I'll read that in a second. Y hat, the predicted temperature, can be found by taking 0 0.052 and multiplying it times x, which is my input number of chirps that the cricket made, and adding to that, since this is positive, 27.63. This is a formula that will give me a pretty good prediction about what the temperature is. So let's do a specific example then. Okay, what if we then recorded a cricket and we found that that cricket chirps 1,100 times in one minute? What would be our best prediction of the current temperature? Well, if it chirped 1,100 times, then specifically this is going to be y hat, my predicted temperature is going to be 0 0.052 times 1,100. 
plus the 27.63. All we do is insert our x value, or input value, into x, simplify this, and again I'm going to use my calculator for that. These are ugly numbers, but the calculator is pretty straightforward. So it's 0 0.052. Is that a B? I don't want that B there. Let me get rid of the B. 0 0.052 times 1100. Ah. 1100. There we go. Plus 27.63. Let me see if I get everything in it right. Yeah, okay, press equals, and it tells me 84.8, well, let's round that to the nearest degree, so that would be 85 degrees. Rounding that to the nearest degree, we can say that our best prediction for the temperature, with a cricket that, that uh, chirped 1,100 times, is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really that, that, that simple. And why were we able to do that? Because we got three values from the calculator. We got our R value, which tells, we tells whether or not we have a strong linear correlation. And it was strong enough to, for us to go ahead and come up with the regression equation. And we also got the A value, and we also got the B value. This concludes this example of linear correlation and the linear regression equation.